Good day, everybody. Welcome to Podcast Host Army. Five minutes on the clock. Sir, what is your name and what is your podcast show? Marco Torres, and the show is called Marketing Boost Solutions. The Marketing Boost Solutions. Before we hit record, we were talking about something that every single podcaster in the universe needs help with. How do I how do I engage with the audience into some level of engagement or call to action and get them into a sales and marketing funnel? You have learned a lot about that. What are your thoughts? What, are, what have you learned? Well, we've learned and have used them and have many podcasters using our service, which where we provide incentives because people need often to be encouraged to take action, whatever you're asking them to do. And so we found by providing, we created a company called Marketing Boost, where we reward clients with travel incentives, hotel savings cards, restaurant savings vouchers, and even complimentary hotel stays with our service to engage people to take action, like, like uh, posting a review, asking questions, being engaged, especially if there's live, if they happen to be live webinars or live podcasts, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah, we were, I was just having a conversation with one of the clients that I'm, I'm coaching on this that we're looking to invest in a show with them. And, you know, we're looking at our podcast and we want to get our audience engaged with our offer. And it's around like gold and silver and such like that. But we're having the hardest time think about because we just want to go slinging, you know, gold and silver that could get very expensive for this client to be giving that stuff away. So what advice or what ideas do you have for, a podcaster who their offer might be a little bit expensive just to give away. Well, the more the more expensive the the call to action is, the more a reward or an incentive uh, such as the ones that we offer can make sense. Okay. Because obviously, with you know, you can create your own at value add incentive. You can do your own BOGO offer. You can throw in, you know, when you buy product A, you get product B to go with it. But sometimes those add-ons that you might be able to throw in can obviously can can be very costly or really cut down you know instead of discounting i'd rather see business owners or podcasters add more value add more widgets but that can be expensive and so what we developed was a tool with with the travel industry to be able to add uh really make it incredibly affordable for anybody any business owner to be able to add these high perceived value incentives like complimentary hotel stays from three to seven night stays and there's no timeshare hoops to jump through nothing like that but anyway your client or the the podcaster or the business owner can add say when you take this action we're going to throw in you know five nights in cancun on us when you buy our high ticket item and the higher the ticket the more these high ticket these high perceived value incentives make sense so we have smaller incentives. For example, if you're asking somebody to just, you know, comment, uh, give us a review of our podcast, you're not going to give them three nights in Las Vegas for that. But you might say, because it sounds too good to be true, right? But you might say, hey, I'm going to give you a $25 restaurant savings voucher, good at restaurants in your zip code. And um, all you got to do is post a review or all you got to do is share the podcast with somebody and, you know, and so on. So there's ways to engage people, have them join your Facebook group and earn the incentive, et cetera. So you can, from the podcast, ask them to take action and then reward them for it. Yeah, that's a great piece of advice, right? Like you change the call to action or the incentive based on what the actual product or service. So if I'm selling trillion dollar homes, I might need a much higher offer than if I'm selling widgets and gidgets and pens where I lower the, the cost per acquisition, right? So as you're going through this process, one of the other things you said is, is welcoming people into some community, like a Facebook group. So then you can continue the conversation. What have you learned is the best way to do that? Well, we found very effectively in my Facebook group has over 30. One of my Facebook groups has over 30,000 entrepreneurs, another one with 54,000. And uh, we find that getting people to join, you know, join your Facebook group is an easy, no risk call to action and yet they're coming into your your community your world where you can now begin to continue to uh you know cult, uh, work on them you know communicate with them show that you're the expert the authority the, the in your field and eventually you're going to convert some of those to clients uh so asking them to join your facebook group is an easy simple call to action and in my case and with our groups when they join my group i have three questions that facebook allows you to ask five seconds so left, i ask Marco. for name phone number email and they do provide 
all in under five minutes. Marco, real quick, where can people go to find your show? They can go to Marketing Boost Solutions on anywhere you get download your podcasts. Cool. Hey, everybody, I hope you're enjoying these quick podcast shows by podcast experts to share the knowledge and the experiences that they have. Always reach out to our guests and say thank you. We'll see you all on the next episode.